Now then, me and the marvellous Graham Jenkinson have decided to do another jewel review. Graham's channel is growing steadily and he's a wonderful reviewer. Sits at his kitchen table and takes you through things nice and calmly and in detail. Very honest, reliable. <laughs> so today, we're both going to have a crack at the Indian Essence Chicken Madras. So we have cooked chicken breast pieces with onions in a hot tomato curry sauce. You can oven cook it, you can microwave it. I'm gonna use my new preferred method by microwaving it until it's hot and then lashing it in the air fryer for a couple of minutes. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave and air fryer. It had a really easy peel lid, no grief whatsoever. Now, after watching this, don't forget to go and see what Graham thought of his, because it's always good to have a second opinion. Okay, let's get this thing onto this plate. So, weighing in at 350 grams, we have these chicken breast chunks, which make up 20% of this curry. And they're swimming around in this kind of medium thick oniony sauce. It has a pleasant colour, looks like some of the madrasses that I've had from restaurants in the past. On the ingredients list we have chilli powder and tamarind paste, so I'm hoping for a tangy heated affair. Let's open some of that chicken up, see what it's like inside. Looks okay from here, nice and clean, reminds me of the tip of a mountain. And it's good to see the sauce has stuck itself to the exterior. Let's check the mush factor. The breast decided that it wasn't having any prong action and maintained its dignity. Overall, I'd say it's looking pretty good and the smell coming off it is rather spicy. So I can't wait to get involved. Right, sauce first, here we go. Oh yeah, I like that straight away. Little bit of crunch from the onions. The heat is starting to build up a bit. It's quite creamy, but not sweet creamy. And you can taste a tiny bit of sourness, I think from the tamarind. Time for a bit of breast. Mmm, nice bit of breast that. Yeah, it's kind of like mid juicy. Yeah, it's not uber succulent, but it's not dry at all. It's right in the middle. The flavor of it is perfectly fine. Yeah, nothing dodgy about it at all. I've got to say, I find this sauce quite Moorish as it happens. Now, although it's flavorful, I'm going to try just a little bit of seasoning. So finely seasoned. Yes, a pinch of salt does lift the flavor, a little bit nicer. As always with these curries, I would advise putting a squirt of lemon in there. Now, the big question is, did it reach madras strength? Of course it didn't. There is some heat in there. So if you don't like spicy food, I wouldn't bother with this. But it's not quite a madras. It's not far off. Eight out of ten to the last bite. Hmm. So, Indian essence chicken madras. Not a bad effort, actually. Um, I'll be trying out probably the whole of your range because you're somewhat there. You know, you're getting towards a restaurant quality curry with the two that I've tried already. So I'll be interested to see what happens. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Oh. Check his, there, 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 there. I'm gonna do my usual thing with these things. Is 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 ah, nah. Oh, God's sake. Oh no, my aeroplane's over here as well. I thought I'd left that behind in Newark. Oh man. <laughs> so you know you've got the meat. Oh, as I carried on, plow, plow, wing. Huh.